Hello, this is part two of the tutorial series for the Echo 2 Smart Pen. In this video, we will be discussing how to download and navigate the LiveScribe Plus app. The application will look slightly different depending on if you are using a PC, Mac, or mobile device, but all the functions will be the same. Go to us.livescribe.com slash pages slash LiveScribe to download the LiveScribe Plus app to your device. It will provide you with various options for download. Follow the instructions to complete download and installation on your preferred device. Once the installation is complete, you can open the application. You will need to pair your Echo 2 Smart Pen to your laptop to upload your notes and audio. You can pair the smart pen to your Mac or PC through Bluetooth or via the micro USB charging cable. I recommend using the cable since it's more reliable and quicker. Once the pairing is successful, you will see the status of your pen change to connected at the bottom right corner of your screen and your notebook will be added under active notebooks on the upper left corner. All of your saved notebooks will be listed under the Notebooks tab. If you click on the specific notebook, it will show you all of the pages you have written notes on, including their page numbers. However, you will not be able to hear your recordings under this tab. You will only see the replay of your handwritten notes. If you refer to the top menu, you will notice you have the option to export your notes as well as share your notes in Google Drive, Evernote, or Dropbox. You also have the option to archive your notebooks here. The calendar option organizes your notes based on the day that you wrote them. The feed view organizes your notes into smaller actionable snippets sorted in a timeline. It includes the notebook, the page, the time and date, and the text version of your note. Please keep in mind that the accuracy of the text conversion will be dependent upon the legibility of your handwriting. You can also tag your notes in feed view to label them under favorite, flagged, or tagged by simply selecting a note, clicking on the collections option in the top menu, and choosing a tag. This will move them under the Collections tab. The PenCast view allows you to play back audio recordings sync to your notes so that you can hear what was said exactly when you were writing. But first, you need to sync your audio. You can do this by selecting Sync. And in the pop-up window, select all of the recordings and download. Now the audio will appear in sync with your handwritten notes. Here you will see the two audio recordings I did in the part one tutorial. You will notice that the audio recording associated with the, associated with the notebook has a paper icon. If we click on the pencast that has a notebook associated with it and you click play, The audio will replace synced with my handwritten notes. Note the notes with audio will appear in green and the notes with that audio will appear in black. Here is my first note. You have the option of choosing how you want the pencast to appear on the screen. You have the option of list view, thumbnail view or page view. You will notice that on the page view, you will see your handwritten notes converted into text format, which you can highlight or modify however you want. You can also export your notes as MP4s with the audio through this tab as well. 
the pen manager view will display options to clear the memory from your smart pen, conduct a master reset, and alert you of any firmware updates available. Under the preferences view, you will have several options to change various pen settings. Cloud service is where you link your Evernote, Google Drive, or Dropbox accounts. 